What's up peeps and welcome back to Sorrel Plays and happy Valentine's Day. This is how to make the first move. Um, I'm no expert at these things but I do know that some moves work and some don't. If you are a woman trying to make a first move on someone you like, go for it. These strategies will work. Like any other games we play, the dating scene is also a game. I'm not saying play games with the person you like, don't do that. And I've got my notes, they're a bit jumbled up, but it might keep me on the straight and narrow where rabbiting on is concerned. If you're going to ask somebody out, or you're going to give your number to somebody, don't overthink it. A scenario where you could end up embarrassed could sometimes in, end up being the best scenario there was. Let's do a couple of circumstances. So first one we're going to talk about is social media, which is, I think, the biggest way people reach out to each other because it's kind of easier doing it from behind the screen than it is doing it face to face. Um, do not send the following messages. Hey. Hey, beautiful. Yo. Hey, you. You're right. Do not send those ones because from personal experience, I am very reluctant to respond to those kind of messages. The hey beautiful one, I hear you asking what's wrong with that. Hey beautiful makes it sound like it's your predictive text, if you like. It's like it's something you send to all the girls you're attracted to. P and paste. I'll send it to this girl, that girl, the other girl, and see who I'll get lucky with. So that's how that sounds to me. Your opinion may differ on this, but that's my advice. I think instead of just sending a one word text, like you should be sending a sentence. Um, this makes it look like you've made a bit more effort. Um, ask how they are. Maybe you've met them somewhere briefly. Hey, remember me is a good message because it does need a response. And remember as well if people don't respond it just simply means that they're not into you i mean you might say hey and that person might get back to you if they like you but that's minimal effort and what we need to be showing is that we're putting some effort into customizing a message rather than just sending a message that you send to anybody the other thing i would thoroughly advise is using their name in a message so hey sorel how's your day going or hey sorel I'd love to buy you a drink sometime. One of the things to remember when you're messaging women especially is that um, you don't want to make them feel like a piece of meat. Women do get made to feel like that a lot. So with these hey beautiful type of messages, actually saying the person's name really helps. Hey, I just wanted to say you're beautiful. So elaborate on that hey beautiful message. Complimenting people always works, but not if it sounds predictive not if it sounds like a quick uncustomized message don't be afraid of rejection if you get rejected it's not necessarily that you've done something wrong it just might mean that the person's with someone um they're not into you they're not interested they're not looking for a relationship it could be anything so if you are out and about and you see someone you like i mean what do people normally do think about the films you ask if they'd like a drink. Can I buy you a drink? That's a really good way of starting conversation with somebody. Um, you may be overthinking how you're actually going to go to the part of the bar where she's at and um, without looking like it's premeditated. But if you like somebody, the video, how to tell if she likes you, the first sign is looking at each other. Locking eyes for a couple of seconds. We're talking about making eye contact with somebody that is the first initiation it's opening the door to actually being able to make your move and get closer to them the other way in which you can look approachable is by approaching somebody to help them so again in the films you see where the girl drops her books and a guy comes over to help her out pick up the books and while they're doing that they have a conversation so opening doors you know, opening the door for somebody, whether you're male or female, it's not only the gentlemanly thing to do. And people talk about equality a lot nowadays, but women still love all that. Women love when men pull out the chair so they can sit down. Um, you know, where they might hold a coat 
to help her out and maybe even hold her bag doing something of course you have to know the person because they might think you're trying to take their bag and leave <laughs> helping somebody is the greatest way to communicate with them get closer to them is going to make a good impression on you so this doesn't mean plan everything it doesn't mean only helping people you fancy of course demonstrating that you are a helpful person and you are a thoughtful person is the biggest way to get somebody's attention and if they didn't think they fancied you in the first place it will grow the, the attraction as soon as they see that you're a helpful person and this is why people always say that it's not all about looks men and women like funny people i'm not saying be a clown i'm not saying go overboard with it make a joke i mean it could be a joke about yourself to show that you're not taking yourself too seriously i mean a spontaneous joke is always good don't go with any cheesy pickup lines they are terrible um just remember if you're relaxed and you're yourself um you will find the right way of approaching a person that you like flirting is very useful for showing someone you like them and trying to take things that little bit further but don't flirt if they're not comfortable with you because that is probably the worst thing you could do flirting needs an invitation so when you see the right signs that this person likes you, maybe they're a little bit flirty going for flirting. Back in the day, women used to make the first move a very long time ago before any of us were here. They used to drop their handkerchief next to a guy that they liked and he'd pick it up and say, excuse me, madam, you've dropped your handkerchief. And she would style it out as if it was dropped unintentionally and they'd get talking and that's how people got together a lot of the time. So... If you are the woman trying to make moves, do it. Men appreciate that. 94% of men said they actually preferred it when women made the first move. Men are a lot more afraid of rejection than women, in my opinion. Nothing statistical here, but I think that men do get rejected a lot more, so they do kind of refrain from making the first move. What the signs? Does she like you? They are the first signs you need to spot. The card's up there smiling is the best way to look approachable if you look serious and depressed nobody's going to want to talk to you so look like you're having fun it's fine and people always worry about looking like they're you know loners don't worry about that if you are out to find somebody the perfect way to do it is being alone and if your friends are not with you to help you out friends are very useful when you like somebody they can help you out but sometimes if you're in a big group with your friends, it can intimidate people from approaching you. So okay, I'm going to give you an example of a way a guy started talking to me in a club a long time ago. But I never forget it. He wrote his number on the tiniest little bit of paper with his name above it. And I was on the dance floor with my friends and he came over and he looked at me and smiled and he just gave it to me, put it in, in my hand. And... Yes, he did have to do this a few times. We used to go to the same club every weekend and I knew that he liked me, but I wasn't going to make it easy for him. If you don't want to give your number out, just in case they turn out to be some psycho, just write your account name of any of your social media and say, I'd love to hear from you. Give yourself 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes and observe what the person is doing are they on their phone are they waiting for somebody is someone going to rock up any minute girls are a little bit defensive when they go out clubbing because a lot of men get drunk and try and come on to them and do things in a really ugly way be cool don't force it don't don't be fake i mean eventually if you get talking to this person they're gonna get to know who you are anyway so you can't be somebody you're not thinking about it and dance with them confident people always win if you wonder how players get so many girls so many guys these people have tried and been rejected they're not getting all the girls they've ever wanted they're not getting all the guys they've ever wanted everybody faces rejection at some point don't let that get you down practice makes perfect and when you get more confident in your moves eventually you'll find it so easy you'll actually start to enjoy doing it and i think that's what happens to players they enjoy it so much they can't stop if you're a great person and a happy person positive person to be around it's their loss you're introducing yourself as a friend a potential friend 
that is the list. Just be cool, be yourself, and don't worry about making a fool of yourself because if that happens, it could actually win you the person you want. So how do you go in for the first kiss? A lot of guys are worried about doing this. I know lots of women are worried about doing this as well. Mirroring their, their body language is a good idea. If they're giving you all the positive body language, and then if you feel like the time is right and you want to go in for the kiss, kind of kiss by the side of the lips, you know, a little bit around the cheek. And if they turn around and want to kiss you back, they will. Okay, guys. That's the video. Hopefully I haven't missed anything out. If I have, put it in the comments below. If you are going out tonight and you want to find somebody, go out, enjoy yourself, make sure you smell good, make sure you look good, and go out and attract the person you want. It can't be that hard. I mean, there's someone for everyone out there. You don't need to spend Valentine's Day sitting in alone. Message somebody and ask them round. The opportunities and the possibilities are endless. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Peace out. Okay, I can't think of any jokes. If you're no good at jokes, maybe leave them alone.